Brittany here, board certified holistic health practitioner, and I view everything through a functional medicine perspective, and I just want to get right into the liver. So you guys, the liver is an astonishing organ in the human body, and in my opinion, it's often overlooked when trying to figure out an underlying root cause of an illness. And it is so remarkable to know and understand all the functions of the liver and how vital it is to maintain true health. So this two-lobed organ is the largest internal organ in the body, and it's also our primary detoxification organ. And the liver has two phases of detoxification, and the main purpose of phase one liver detox is to modify toxins so that they can work with enzymes in phase two of detoxification. And phase two of liver detox is named so because it works on the products of phase one. But in some cases, toxins may enter the liver ready for phase two and they skip phase one. Um, but I'm not going to get into depth with these phases. So I'm just saying in a nutshell, the liver filters the blood. It disassembles chemical compounds for detox and it synthesizes and secretes bile and I just have to share with you guys um, just one unique ability of the liver and it's the fact that it can regrow and a recent study stated and I quote liver regeneration remains an extensively studied topic as the liver is the only organ capable of complete regrowth after 70% removal end quote so that's amazing guys and I just had to share that but to prevent chronic illness it is crucial to keep our liver healthy and prevent it from becoming congested and damaged and leading to liver dysfunction. So lots of things can contribute to this um, starting with environmental factors. So the environment that we surround ourselves in greatly affects the function of the liver. So the liver is overloaded and burdened due to daily, daily chemical exposure, which then leaves it functioning very poorly. And I tell my clients all the time that we have never lived in a more toxic environment than we do today, guys. And it actually starts with the food that we eat. So certain habits in the diet can lead to liver stress, like consuming too much protein, too much sugar, um, too many simple carbs, overeating, too many enzyme deficient foods, um, tons of things. A few more factors that can contribute to liver troubles would be um, drug residues, heavy metals, pesticides, herbicides, BPA exposure, lack of exercise, and hepatitis C. So you might be wondering, well, do I have liver congestion? Well, a few symptoms. I'm, it's not just a few. It's a doozy of a list, you guys. But symptoms of a congested liver can be digestive issues, gallbladder issues, skin problems, arthritis, obesity, infertility, low energy, allergies, hay fever, diabetes, hypertension, headaches, muscle weakness, pain in the upper abdomen, clammy hands, depression, difficulty tolerating exercise, disturbed sleep, fluid retention, um, and it's more like in the abdomen, itchy skin, um, irritability, jaundice. Um, you'll see the eyes and skin may look yellow. That's an extreme sign though. Um, muscle pain, cramping, nausea, just oversensitivity and trouble breathing. Whew, that's a doozy of a list, as I said. Um, but also when you get headache across the forehead, um, that's your liver. When you get headaches um, around your temple, that's your gallbladder. Um, when you get pain between your shoulder blades, that's liver dysfunction. Um, if your stomach just gets upset after eating greasy or even healthy saturated fat, foods, um, that can happen. So there are numerous natural remedies to easily apply to help cleanse and support the liver. Um, and a few lifestyle applications that would love on your liver would be to avoid alcohol, 
Um, avoid late night snacking and go to sleep before 10 p.m. because the liver regenerates from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. So it's important to get to bed before 10 or at least by 10. Um, you're gonna wanna relieve the liver of extra toxins by drinking clean water, um, maybe using an air filtration system in your home, um, avoid eating and drinking from plastic, use organic cotton sheets, avoid EMFs, and I went over EMFs in another video. You go, you're gonna wanna eat clean organic food and get enough fiber intake, and please avoid the trans fat foods and oxidized oils. You're gonna wanna consume high quality protein, um, those grass fed meats and organic um, meats. So consume nutrient dense foods like bitter greens, citrus peel, shiitake mushrooms, beets, um, cruciferous veggies, turmeric, all of these things. God has given us amazing superfoods to help nourish our body um, and just bring life and nourishment instead of sickness and toxicity. We just have to utilize those foods. You can drink some organic green tea. Um, you can consider adding in some spirulina or chlorophyll or chlorella, tons of things. You wanna make sure that your vitamin deficiency is brought back into sufficiency. And of course, um, organic juicing is great, using the organic produce. There's, I have a recipe too for your liver on my on my channel. So all of these ways are um, great to love on your liver, but I have to say, in addition to this healthy lifestyle, a very specific liver gallbladder flush that I have my clients do is the game changer. Um, my clients pass liver flukes and gallstones that they didn't even know that they had. This flush opens up this vital drainage pathway to get things properly moving and out of the body. And you can only get it through a cell core practitioner, which I am one. Um, I don't have the bottles near me, but this is what it is. And it just consists of these three um, supplements and you take four of them each twice a day um, and it flushes everything out. It's, it's amazing, you guys. Um, the next thing that I also recommend to my clients to incorporate um, for this healthy lifestyle is a castor oil pack. And you have your castor oil here and you have your organic cotton pack here. And you're literally just gonna pour some of this on there and just blot it through and you're gonna put it on your liver. But before I talk about other things, castor oil packs not only cleanse and detoxify the liver, but it also improves sleep it improves bowel movement, so if you're constipated, it'll help regulate you. If you have diarrhea, it'll help um, regulate you in that area as well. Um, it helps with stress, it helps you cleanse better, and most importantly, it boosts your glutathione production. So your glutathione is your master antioxidant, so very, very important. But again, you're gonna wanna just sleep with this. Um, you put it over your liver, if you're on your cycle and you have bloating or cramping, you can just wear it over your uterus um, and it'll just help with that and shorten your cycle. It helps with so many things, you guys. And there's also a thyroid um, castor oil pack that you can wear if you're having thyroid issues, whether it's hyperthyroid or hypothyroid. Um, this is really, really great. So my favorites is the is the liver gallbladder flush, we call it the 444, and castor oil pack, you guys. Castor oil pack is amazing, and you can just utilize it as, just make it part of your routine um, for life. It's, it's amazing and that beneficial. Um, so you can also add herbs to your daily routine um, just to help keep your liver in optimal function. A lot of people know about mi milk thistle, so it's a well-known herb that helps the liver. Um, so like milk thistle and wormwood and garlic, they, have, they all have properties to um, rebuild and regenerate the liver. Um, dandelion root and ginger and clove and horsetail are excellent herbs to flush toxins from the liver as well. Um, and lastly, 
The last remedy that I often recommend to help cleanse the liver is a coffee enema, and that's usually not everyone's favorite, <laughs> but coffee enemas are amazing, you guys. I highly recommend you do them. Coffee contains caffeine and antioxidants and other properties that flush out toxins in the digestive tract, including the liver. So these properties reach the liver via the hemorrhoidal vein. And one study even explained as these properties get to the liver, it is believed to cause dilation of bile ducts and excretion of bile through the colon wall. So this is helping to promote healthy bowel function and eliminating toxins efficiently. Um, coffee enemas should not be the primary protocol for liver cleansing um, and certainly isn't for everyone, but it is definitely great to incorporate into your healthy lifestyle. But just in conclusion, we should just remember that food is medicine, you guys. Every bite of food you take will either feed disease or fight it. So eating organic, non-GMO foods, lots of veggies should be our primary remedy to maintain liver health. But even on top of the clean food, you need clean water, you guys. Clean water um, that doesn't have all the chemicals and toxins in it. So I'll have to make a video on water to explain which one is the best. Um, I'll briefly mention it now. It's distilled and that's controversial, but I will explain why distilled is best. But if you're using reverse osmosis, that's obviously way better than your tap water or bottled water. Um, so yeah, lots of things, you guys. If you feel like you have liver dysfunction or a congested liver, reach out to me and I would love to help you get back into optimal function and achieve true health. So I love you guys and I will talk to you soon.